we will start the evening by listening to Mama Lambert's story on the justice processes and her experiences there. Now, after the break, we will talk about forgiveness and we will talk about Mama Lambert's own experiences with her forgiveness process and that part she will do in English. But for this part, before the break, there will be translation. Now, we also have two excellent speakers from academia who are sitting now in front of me, but later will be joining us in, uh, in the panel. Ariko haundi wachie bugufi akaemeri cha hache aga sabimbabazi uri ya nawe umvumuti muruhutze. Umvumuti muruhutze ukabawa mubabarira ariko nawe haramati je kwa vijenewe ni wafakumule kuragusa ubutabera ni wukura hujihano. But for the person who committed the crime but does confess in it, normally, even for you as a victim, somehow it appeases your spirit to the level that you are also able to forgive that person. She's a Christian and she believes that the person who did confess does also have a clean conscience. What is your idea of justice? When do you find this proper balance? When does it indeed unite, as Mama Lambert has expressed? Uh, I honestly find it very difficult to, to have a, an overarching definition of, of what, you, what you call justice when it comes to criminal justice. Um, before I went to Rwanda, the... The, the literature review that I produced was based on trying to define justice. And it's, it's so hard. For anyone that studied justice, criminal justice, any sort of justice, social justice, it's such a difficult concept to, to define. These are different ways of looking at justice. And the first one, putting people in the proper place, is something that reminds me or connects me with the way I, I see justice in the work I did in the last 25 years. And that was uh, why I was positively surprised by the presence of uh, Mama Lambert and her message, which, uh, yeah, for, for me the most important point was, I guess, um, that uh, though she forgave and though she has forgiven uh, the ones who hurt her and killed her family, that she uh, does not forget and that is, uh, I think that's very important for uh, the part of justice in this. 